We have former one bantamweight world champion Bibiano the Flash Fernandez here with us today on the MMA Superfan. How are you feeling today, Bibiano? I feel good, Miguel. Thanks so much for having me today. I I'm excited to to talk with you and always nice, you know what I mean? Always nice to have a conversation and talk with you, my MMA life and whatever you guys have for me there. All right. Well, we do have a few questions for you today, and we only have a limited amount of time, so let's get to it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, first things first, uh, Bibiano. Um, yeah, definitely. I want to ask you uh, just your your thoughts on the recent uh, One on Prime Video 3 event. I know, you know, this is these are, you know, two guys that um, are at the very top of the division right now alongside with you. Uh, Fabricio Andrade versus John Lineker a couple weeks ago, the main event. Um, what did you think of that fight? I watched the fight. The fight was pretty good. You know what I mean? It was back and forth. You know what I mean? Back and forth, Fabrizio have a little adventure over there. And John Lineker, I think he, he they lose the, the because I think he no make he no make the weight that can affect him a little bit. And does I think go through his mind, you know what I mean? Like that's my opinion. And uh, John uh, Fabrizio is very long a guy. He, he reaches very long. He throw the left knee very well, and the the time he have was pretty good time for for Fabrizio. But it was a good fight. But Joe Linicky was try his best, but Fabrizio was, was bad in the fight until the time he gave the the knee. All right, you learn a lot about you know fighters in the cage whenever they fight. You you discover a lot of things about who they are and uh, what kind of fighters they are. What what did you learn about Fabricio and John? I think Fabricio is a young guy. Like for a young guy, when you say young guys, is like he hungry, right? But hungry, want to go, go. You know, I mean, some like he want to go fight. But Fabricio have a lot of uh, John Lee have a lot of experience. He have a right, good right hand, good left hook. That one thing he do very well. You know what I mean? The, the truth is that he have. John Lineker have only right hand, left hook. That's his power. His jiu-jitsu not the great, but he take he take Fabrizio without your time. That was impressed for me there. All right. And of course, you know, it ended controversially there, you know, with the knee and the low blow. And uh, what's your what's your opinion on how it ended? Was it unfortunate for, you know, how, how do you think Fabricio Andrade felt? How did you think um, John Lineker mm -hmm. felt about that ending? You know what? I think in the fight, like the pace was, it's very, it's hot for stop the knee coming. You know? I mean, like sometimes you do something you're not supposed to do it. But it, the first one was very good in the, in the stomach, but the second one hit his, his down there. You know what I mean? But I'll believe you want to go big and make the second fight happy. I, I believe. I think it will be a rematch soon. Yeah, a rematch is definitely warranted, whether it happens now or it happens down the road. But do you think? I they... think everybody want to watch the fight. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody would want would not want to watch that fight. That fight was uh was crazy. Um, but do you mm. think they should do like an immediate rematch, or do you think like the winner between you and your next uh, opponent? Uh, I, I think boys have to fight. Really, boys mm. have to go there and fight. That's my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, I think some business to finish over there for Mufa between the boys. Yeah, yeah, and they're also talking about you know, like how you and uh, Stephen Loman. Um, or like the winner of that fight would would you know is a possibility to challenge for the vacant belt. What are your thoughts on that? You know why? I, I don't think a lot about who's gonna be next. The folks, who's next for me now? Steve Alone. That is my next for me. I'm focusing here. I try very hard for this guy. Another to get the belt and not get the belt doesn't know my mind. My mind is now Steve. He is my my next one there for me. I don't right now. It's very important for me because for me, Biano. I don't like thinking what is after for me, what is now, what is coming now for me, what is now for me, for this, I want Steve, that's next for me, I'll focus in here for now. Well, yeah, that's definitely next for you. Another member of Team Lakai, Stephen Lohman. Um, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Team Lakai, love it, BB. <laughs> yeah, you fought, you know, that famously, you fought Kevin Belling on four times. Four times. Yeah, that was, uh, it's been, you know, it's historic. It's it's since, you, you know, you, you started your one championship career, he's been around. But now it's Stephen Lohman. He's kind of passed the torch over to Stephen Lohman now. What are your thoughts on Stephen? Have you studied his style in his past fights? A hundred percent. Oh, yeah. I watch him many times. I figure out his skill. You know what I mean? He's coming out there. He's left the punch. He's like kick, run away, kick, run away. Try to take it out. He's a good, good fighter. I'm excited for fight that guy, young guy. You know what I mean? I'm 
OG, you know me, I'm here, I'm ready to go there and do my job. And he's a good fighter, but I'm ready to go there and bring good fight for everybody. And, you know, he's also, you know, coming from a camp that has experience fighting you and, you know, crafting game plans for you. How do you think Stephen is going to approach this fight against you? What do you think his game plan is going to be? Uh, uh, okay, if he comes from camp, he will have somebody fight with me. I will follow, I believe he will follow, I believe he will follow Kev Bellingham plan. You know what I mean? He will try his fight stand up. That, that's how I can see that. You know what I mean? He goes straight away from my jiu-jitsu or wrestling. That's I can see that too. You know what I mean? Oh, but you know why? They forget I have the power. I have good power. You know what I mean? I know body dropped John Linnick before. And I'll guess what? I did it. I dropped John Linnick. I dropped Kevin. I dropped many fighters. You know what I mean? But sometimes people only think about my jiu-jitsu. But you know what? I can be dangerous everywhere. For this, I'm very confident. No confidence with I respect my opponent. But... I can fight here. I can go stand up. I can go in the ground. I can go. I can go fight with you, whatever he want. And he bring the fight. I'll be there. You know what I mean. But people forget. Like people forget. Oh, BB is a jiu-jitsu guy. BB is a wrestling guy. If you watch my fight again, I nobody dropped no only. I was the first one. All right. I was at the team Lakai camp like uh, maybe three weeks ago, uh, watching them train and then uh, talking to them. Um, one of the things that they told me was it was surprising was that they wouldn't be afraid to to go down to the ground with you. Um, do you think that's going to be a mistake uh, for Stephen Loman if he does take it to the do, ground? Uh, do you know what? I, 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 again, it, it, my, my style is different, right? My style is different style. Like he can, before when I compete jiu-jitsu, so people say, oh, I'm not afraid to fight Bibiano and after going my game, they don't want to come back there. You know what I mean? So, fuck, I don't want to fight this guy in this game. For this, but I learned for that. You know what I mean? Like, people go think, oh, my God, Bibiano is like, you know what? I will tell something for you. Like, honestly, if you make a mistake, I can catch it here. A hundred percent. I don't doubt that. You know what I mean? He can say, it's like, he can say how much he say. Like, okay, I will, I'm not afraid for this. I'm not afraid for that. But, well, a lot of people is not afraid too, but they still I catch, you know what I mean? It's it's no it's no it's the time you push, it's the time the experience that you're there, you know what I mean? Like it's not about the freight, it's about the time, experience, I spend time in the mat. That's the difference, you know what I mean? Like same you good jab or you if you have good jab, doesn't matter. Like if you say, Oh, I'm not scared for his jab, but you go there, you still got a hit jab. Say, what the fuck? How does that because it's experience in time, you know what I mean? So much time I do this, like 27 years I do, uh, do mixed martial art, you know what I mean? For this, is for me, I know he like to throw his left hook, his, he like to throw that punch, and I know he like to kick, I know he like to shoot sometimes, but I'm aware, you know what I mean? Like, I'm aware what he doing, like, that's it. All right, well, that's going to be a definitely a great fight. Um, do you have a prediction for that? I want you to, uh, you know, give call your shot a little bit. Do, do you know what I... Again, I don't like to predict the fight because fight fight is fight, right? Like I want I want to show up in the, my best and I want to give him my best for the day for the fight. I want to feel good, healthy, strong. That's it. The fight coming, I'll move it, whatever he wants to do. One thing where I watch for for he a little bit, he likes to move a lot, you know what I mean? He punch around, he punch around. Maybe he go change his style, maybe he go come fight, you know what I mean? But I'm worried for him. I'm a hundred percent and I'm worried to go die. To give good fight for my fans. All right. Well, we're excited to see it. Obviously, seeing you back in the in the circle, uh, an absolute legend. Uh, let's touch on one last topic here. Um, your old friend, uh, Demetrius Mighty Mounts Johnson. Uh, you know he won the flyweight belt in his last fight. What did you think about his performance against Adriana Moraes? Again, right? Everything is about experience, right? Like I believe if I fight John Lennick, for sure I'll go figure out something different for John Lennick, you know what I mean? I'll find a way. Me and JJ talk a little bit. J I did just say, BB, for this fight, I only did a lot of grappling. I grab, I grab, I grab. And I say, what the fuck? How you how knock his out? He say, I don't know. Like by my focus, it will grab it here. I was like, my, my focus was grab. I don't think I go knock it out because it's hot from the last time. And but that's what I say, you know. I mean, you focus, you have to do your training. But MMA, or uh, MMA, always have something different for you, you know. I mean, when you step the ring, everything change. But I'm very happy for DJ. He did a great job. Good, congratulations for DJ. Now you have the belt for one championship. Yeah, that definitely. You know, how how what was your reaction to how 
DJ won that fight do, against Adriano. Do you know why uh, DJ? I, I I give interview before. I say I believe DJ will win the belt. You know what I mean? That interview I give you before. Like, if you look in the past, I see DJ go win the belt. Yeah, Adriano go try not get out, but. I know DJ, I know the way he thinks, you know what I mean? And I, for sure he will go come back here and he will give it his best. All right. So he recently went on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast um, the other week mm -hmm. and he said something very surprising to me, which was a shock when I heard it. But he said maybe he has two or three fights left before he, you know, he hangs it up for good. Do you think it will be a good time for him, you know, after two or three fights to just, you know, call it a career? Uh, again, this is this between he and his health, his mind, right? Like if he if he think that's it for him, that's it. It's not wrong. He did great. He was one champ. He was UFC champion. He's coming one championship. He was Grand Prix champion. You know what I mean? He did great job. You know what I mean? If he would think it's the time for stop, yes, yeah, a hundred percent. You know what I mean? Everything is about how you mind, how you feel. If you feel you ready to move forward. Time for you move move for next step a hundred percent you know what I mean but it's about how you feel like for me I don't have no injury you know what I mean like I'm blessed because I don't have no injury I take care of my body I take care of my mind and for this I keep it going. Yeah, I was about to ask you the same question. You know, you look like a young man right now. You look very renewed and rejuvenated. <laughs> Do no crazy today. I, I have to take myself to the, the shop because he car his tire his car was no good, and I was bring my son. My son is seventeen old, right? The old son I have Elijah, and I was there with my son. The guy coming for me and speaking him speak with me a little bit, and I say, "Oh, you do mix much law, right?" I say, "Yeah, I do mix much law." I begin to talk a little bit, and he say, "How old are you?" I say, "He asked for my son." He said, "That's your son." Now he say. How, he asked me, how old are you? I said, I'm, I'm 25. He said, what the fuck? Sorry. He said, 25? 25? I said, yeah, this is my son. I said, what? Man, you, you oh, I'm, I said, I'm 42. He said, look, man, you look like 25. How possible? I said, I don't know, man. I look like, I, I think I believe I take care of myself. Mixed martial arts. I have no idea, but that's who I am. Well, you look fantastic, champ. Uh, we are excited to see you back in the circle. And, uh, you know, there you have it, folks. The former one bantamweight world champion, Bibiano the Flash Fernandez. He will be taking on Stephen Lohman at one and five yeah. or in Singapore. Best of luck this to you, be good. Thank you. It will be a good fight. Guys, please, if you guys can follow me on Instagram, please follow me there. It will be very good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for having me, Carlos. And we talk more in the future, All right, bro. Man. Good luck. Best of health, sir. Peace.